Hello, my dear students. How are you doing? Well, I hope you are well. I'll be working hard just to produce material for you and to change a little bit by little bit. So today I'm going to show you that we are going to start with unit number five. And unit number five is about community. And it has different goals. Number one is politely ask someone not to do something. For example, uh, would you mind not spilling on the floor? Uh, complain, number two, complain about public conduct. Okay, I really hated your uh, screaming at people. Three, suggest so ways to, to avoid being a victim of a urban crime as a reading. Different types of uh, ways to say in rateros or um, a burglar, thief. And number four, discuss the meanings of community. Uh, well, this is basically the unit that you have in your books. But the most important is that I'm going to show you about uh, what material I have prepared for you. I have prepared uh, a presentation, nice presentation, and you have these different listenings that you can do it because they are going to be uploaded in our drive documents. So please check them out and download them. And this is a guide of the class with the answers. It will be helpful for you to check your answers when you do any type of assignment in the book. Okay, so let's go now to the presentation. And this is basically the presentation. Uh, this is uh, the starting of the presentation. Where would you rather live? In an urban area, a rural area, or in the suburbs? Why? Well, I could never live in a small town. I would die of burn. I would be bored to death. I need my amenities like malls, fitness centers, bars. But Mari prefers the suburbs, the outskirts of the city, like Minka. Okay, so this is basically the preview of the unit. And then we have an um, exercise here with uh, different activities. And you can click here for the listening. And it will give you the listening. And the next exercise is grammar. And remember that when you see these blue things, it's because there is a web page where you can have more information. But well, this is my introduction of this topic. This topic is a little confusing, but I'm going to give you a clear examples of how it is used. So you can check this, and if you have any questions, please let me know, because um, I will be happy to help you. You know, you can contact me through WhatsApp, my, the Zoom, the Teams, my personal phone, email, whatever, or any, anywhere you want to call me or send me a message, whatever. And I have another grammar here with different explanations that I created to make it more, more digestible, I could say. And also, I use a little Spanish in this explanation because I know if you put this into a translator, uh, it doesn't translate the same way. So I gave you, I'm giving you there the explanation. And I have more examples here with the grammar. But the most important thing is that you can click here in these things and these are videos that you can watch then in our stream group. They have the translation next to, and you can practice with a friend, even if your friend 
is not near you. You can both uh, do a little talk conversation using this model as sample as examples. Okay, so as you can see, there are three different videos that you can listen even as three interview about what bothers people uh, or what bother people about other your neighbors or people doing in the street. Okay, and this is basically what we, you are going to be working in this unit. Any question, remember, ask me. And just remember the words that are here. Are really true. Bye bye. Thank you, my friends, and I hope you have a great week. I see you on Wednesday uh, via Teams.